welcome back to Road Reg. On today's video, we're going to be talking about tyres, in particular, the Michelin Pilot Sport 5 tyres. I must admit, guys, when I thought about doing this video, I was a little bit unsure how to approach it, simply because the Michelin Pilot Sport 4 tyres were so good. I'm like, how can these be better? But hopefully, in this video, we're going to learn why the PS5s are better than the PS4s. So let's crack on with the video. So I've had the uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 5 tyres fitted since last August, um, which is really good because it gave me some time to experience them in uh, hot summer conditions on the road. And right now we're filming in the middle of winter basically, so I've had a really good chance to see what these tyres are like uh, in sort of all conditions. And quite recently, you, you all know this yourselves, we've had a lot of rain. And um, that was something that really stood out to me from the PS4s, was how good they are in the wet. The M140 Ti uh, demands a good tyre, you know? All of that torque, 500 newton meters, demands a good tyre, especially for a 245 section tyre. That is wide, but it's not that wide, if that makes sense. 245 is, it could be a little bit wider for me, but BMW have chosen to put the 245 section at the rear and 225 at the front. That's what they've gone with. And I, I trust BMW for that. But yeah, when I, I remember when I put the PS4s on and the difference between the Super Sports and the PS4s was mind blowing. Now, the difference between the PS4s and the PS5s, it isn't mind blowing, but we've got to understand that this is this is an upgrade from what was already a good tire. So the interesting thing about Michelin is they have 10 KPIs. They have to not only adhere to and meet, but they have to exceed when they're making a new tire. So this Pilot Sport 5 is definitely better than the PS4. Now I can only give you my subjective opinion because I do think tires respond differently on different cars. And we're obviously talking about my experience with the M140 Ti. But I've got to be honest with you guys, this tyre is fantastic. In terms of costing, I think I paid £480 in total to get these tyres fitted and balanced. Um, I bought them from Black Circles and that's a really good tyre place that I recommend you get your tyres from. There's not much difference between cost between the two and I know that Black Circles often do discounts. Um, but I think that's really, really good value for money, you know? Just to put it into perspective, my girlfriend has just fitted four new Michelin Primacy 4 tires to her Toyota RAV4, okay? And they were a lot more expensive than the PS5s for an M140i, which is a performance car. So yeah, really good pricing there. Um, in terms of feel, the thing is with the PS4s is a lot of people are saying that they they didn't uh, give good feedback. They're a bit numb feeling compared to, for example, the Goodyear Eagle F1 Supersports or even the Michelin Pilot Supersports. I'd love to say that I can notice a difference. And I think feel is very, very subjective because every car will feel different naturally. Um, like I said in the PS4 video, you know, the 140i has an electronic steering rack, so it's very difficult to gauge tyre feel through this steering wheel. They kind of remind me of the, the Goodyear Eagle F1 Supersports, if I'm totally honest with you, and that was a fantastic feeling tyre, um, especially so on hot summer days, and that's where it excelled. So yeah, in terms of feel, So I think what they really wanted to focus on was longevity of the tyres. Now the PS4s had great longevity, but due to their soft compound, they would tend to wear out quite quickly. And obviously, if you understand how compounds affect grip and longevity, then you'll know that the softer the compound, the more the grip, but there's a trade-off with that that they don't last as long. The nice thing about the Michelin Pilot Sport 5s is they've somehow managed to give it a slightly harder compound to increase longevity, but we haven't lost any grip. Not from what I can tell anyway. And there is another nice feature about the Michelin Pilot Sport 5s that I really like. And yeah, like we said in the video, 
you know, it's not gonna make a difference to performance in any way, shape or form, but it looks cool. Check out that. That is actually a different material. It's almost like felt like, but it looks freaking awesome. Definitely 10 out of 10 for looks. These Michelin PS5's grip, <sighs> incredible. Absolutely incredible. So in terms of wet weather performance, I would say that the PS5's are really no different to the PS4's. Now, that isn't a bad thing, guys. The PS4's were fantastic in wet weather. Genuinely blew my mind when I put those tires on this car because I had gone from super sports, which were not so good in the wet, and then suddenly it's made this car feel like a completely different car. In some cases, I was like, this could be a Golf R. <laughs> Maybe not quite, but the kind of things you could do in the wet when I put the PS4s on was, I, I just didn't know this car could do that. And it's no exception for the PS5. It just takes it to the next level of wet weather performance. I never ever feel like the car's gonna sort of run away from me. It just digs in and just laps it up and you know people say that you know you can't drive rear wheel drive cars fast in poor weather but i tell you what you put these ps5s on and get them at the right pressures especially if you've got a 140 with a limited slip differential then you're going to be in for a bit of a shock now obviously we won't be able to keep up with the golf r boys off the line we all know that that's just a fact but when you're rolling the cornering grip, absolutely exceptional. Look at this, look. It just digs in. Right guys, so we are gonna pull out of this junction here. The weather isn't great. It's wet, it's greasy, and it's not the warmest of days. Poor conditions with the PS5s installed and see how the car copes. Let's do this. We're in Sports Plus, just to let you know. There's no cars coming. Here we go. Wow. It just digs in and goes. You do get a little bit of movement at the back, but that's natural for a high-powered uh, rear-wheel drive car with a limited slip diff. But we're just on this road here and it just feels so confidence-inspiring. Now here's something really cool about the Michelin Pilot Sport 5s that you might not know. I only have recently learned about this, okay? So I see these three holes here. Initially, I thought these would just be something to do with the tread pattern or the design, but no, these are wear indicators, right? So basically the way it works is when these become flush, it's time to change your tires. How cool is that? Right, I'm gonna do a launch from zero miles an hour, okay? I'm in sport mode, because obviously it's wet. So let's give it a go. Foot down. Wow. There we are. Do I even need to say anything, guys? That was a wet launch from zero miles an hour, just foot flat down, and it just went. Obviously, there was a tiny bit of a delay. Other than that, no dramas at all. And this is a 500 newton meter rear wheel drive hot hatch, and it can do that. Wow, I can feel everything that's going on. Braking feels really good as well. They're just digging in and going. Wow, wow, wow. Right, we've got a nice tight junction here again. Let's see how it copes. Look 
each other. So in terms of hot weather performance, unfortunately right now I can't, I can't obviously demonstrate that to you, but I can tell you that they are, again, as good as the PS4s, if not better. Remember what I said guys, this tyre is designed to be as good as the PS4s, which were very, very, very good, but last longer. And if there is any difference in performance in, in wet weather and hot weather conditions, you know, it wouldn't be night and day. Let's just do a little, let's be cheeky, turn the old traction control off and do a little spin here. You ready? Yeah, see, look at that. Just flick it round, good to go. Now you can't do that in a Golf R. Mic. Oh, did my mic fall yeah. off? Oops. Damn it. So, would I recommend the Michelin PS5 tyre for your car? Yes, I would. I honestly think you should, if you're looking for tyres right now, just go ahead and buy them. Seriously, they are that good. And the nice thing about them is you can get them in lots of sizes. I think they might start from 16 inch and above, which is lovely because we can't get the 4S's in the M140i sizes, you can only get them in 19 inch and above. But now that the PS5 is out, I feel like it gets that little bit closer to the 4S's dry grip. I think there is one size of 18 inches that you can get with the 4S, but that's like a 235. But yes, the PS5 comes in lots of different tyre sizes, which makes it really versatile. And Whatever you're driving, the PS5 will transform your car. So go ahead and get yourself some fresh PS5 rubber. You will not be disappointed. That's going to be the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And um, I just wanted to say that a lot of you have been saying really, really nice things about my videos and encouraging me in the comment section. And it really, really means a lot. And it's it helps me get out and make more videos. So I really appreciate it. And if you guys have any suggestions for videos that you'd like me to make, please let me know. Anyway, take care, guys.